Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everybody, depending where you are. My name is Velimira Nemigencheva, and I'm part of the Internet Governance Team of the European Commission. Please let me start by sending, on behalf of the European Commission, our best wishes to the MAC and the entire IGF community. Let me also express how pleased we are to see that despite the persistent difficulties around COVID, the preparations of the 16th annual meeting of the Internet Governance Forum in Katowice is advancing. And this with many exciting sessions taking shape and we are very much looking forward to see those. The hybrid format that is foreseen for IGF 2021 is in our view a multiple opportunity to make the IGF even more inclusive and more powerful. We are very much looking forward to see how this experiment of hybrid model develops further. Since the last IGF, the von der Leyen Commission has put in place a number of initiatives in the area of digital and internet-related policy. Let me start with the series of acts that we have proposed. The Digital Services Act proposes new rules for a safe and accountable online environment, while the Digital Markets Act sets a new regulatory framework to ensure fair and open digital markets. There is also the Data Governance Act aiming to boost data sharing and support European data spaces. Moreover, the European Commission has proposed the first ever legal framework on artificial intelligence to ensure that technology evolves in a trustworthy environment. Also, let me draw now your attention to the Commission's brand new EU cybersecurity strategy. The letter includes new rules to make physical and digital critical entities more resilient. The strategy covers also global internet security and openness and proposes new measures for EU to continue playing its part in strengthening the free and open internet within the multi-stakeholder community. Recently, the Commission has also published its 2030 Digital Compass communication. The communication sets out a vision for 2030, a vision for a digital transformation based on the empowerment of citizens. The communication proposes clear and concrete objectives along four cardinal points. First, dig digitally skilled population, highly skilled digital professionals. Second, secure and trusty digital infrastructures. Three, digital transformation of businesses and four, digitalization of public services. The communication includes also a section on international partnerships for the digital decade. And in this part of the communication, the partnership with Africa features prominently. Indeed, the first step of a renewed and even strong engagement on Africa was taken in December 2020 with the launch of the African Digital for Development Hub. The hub will provide a mechanism for bringing the best of your expertise in terms of program engineering and technical assistance, including further development of internet governance capacity building initiatives. The digital partnership with Africa will have multiple facets. 
it will include a comprehensive approach towards data, a program for regulatory reform through PRIDA. It will also support the African digital single market and the development of digital innovation hubs while extending at the same time the European research area. The Digital Decade Communication also announces increased connectivity investments in team Europe initiatives to combine resources of the EU, its member states and leading companies with the support provided by like-minded partners and international financial institutions. Let me stress that as always, the connectivity that the EU will promote will be connectivity to an internet that is open, free and human-centric. An internet respectful of democratic processes and human rights. An internet of quality responding to the local needs of partner countries and communities. Additionally, let me stress that the European Commission is looking forward to the full implementation of the UN High-Level Panel on Digital Cooperation, engaging intensively to support the development of a single, open, neutral, free and unfragmented Internet. We also look forward to the outcome of this effort, supporting the multi-stakeholder model to live up to its promise in terms of democracy and effectiveness. The implementation of the ongoing digital cooperation process relies on two initial cornerstones that are the effective development of the IGF Plus model and the Office of the Secretary General's Envoy on Technology. We see those as inequivocally linked to the development of human rights online as a cross-cutting team. We need, more than ever, an inclusive IGF where all stakeholders, but especially those from the Global South, feel comfortable, feel empowered to bring their perspective on how the free and open Internet should be governed. In conclusion, let me share that we very much look forward to an IGF 2021 that would already feel more inclusive, wisely combining digital tools with face-to-face -to -face meetings as the prelude of what should perhaps be the core characteristic of the IGF+. Plus. With this, let me thank you for your attention and tell you how much I'm looking forward to see or meet you at IGF 2021. Thank you and goodbye.